Morning. We've just parked up between Braithwaite and Stair. Uh, the houses below me are called Stonycroft. And the small tree you can see on the skyline is Rolling End. That's where we're going to head. We came out the car park, headed across the road and started up the path. Just as you get up the path near Stonycroft, which I just showed you, there's a path that veers off to the left and starts dropping back down in the direction of Rolling End. You need to take that path. If you miss this path and carry on upwards, you're going to end up on the wrong side of the valley and you won't can get to Rolling End. The path will drop you back down onto the road where you're only on the road about 20 yards and then we'll take a right and start going up Rolling End. From where we were parked you could have just stayed on the road and walked up to this path below Rolling End. You'll see on the map we've just decided to come up above the road and back down. Cross the little bridge and the path takes an immediate right up onto Rolling End. There's Rolling End and there's the knobbly peak of Causey Pike behind it. Here's the rock star! <laughs> we got a bit of temperature inversion rolling in from the east. There's Blencathra and Clough Head across the valley from it. We're almost at the summit of Rolling End now and there's the lonely old 
mountain ash that I showed you at the beginning of the walk rolling end summit 433 meters it's a burkit ahead of it is Causey Pike where we're going to head to the left of Causey Pike we've got Knot Rig and Hard Crags to the left of that we've got Robinson, Hindscarth, Dale Ed, High Spy, Maiden Moor we've got Little Town down here and the beautiful little church of Newlands Valley Newlands Valley straight ahead of me there panning right round to the left we've got Cap Bells and behind Cap Bells we've got a temperature inversion over the top of Derwent water From Rolling End, we're going to head straight up the ridge and onto Causey Pike. So Causey Pike has a little bit of a sting in the tail The summit has a bit of a scramble It's not too difficult but it does have a bit of an exposed path on the left hand side here There's a few different ways to scramble up You can go around that way or you can go up that way I think we'll go up this way Which way are you going lad? This way? Go on up here Go on oh, You're going back that way are you? Go on then Alright I'll give you a hand Go on! Up you go Good boy Causey Pike Summit, 637 metres It's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt and a Nuttall
So from the summit of Causey Pike we're going to head across the ridge of Scar Crags to the summit of Scar Crags and then we're going to drop down off Scar Crags into the valley to High Moss which is just below outer side and then we're going to drop down the valley back to the car just a short walk today so this is Scar Crags ahead of me we're going to go over the ridge if you wanted to make the walk even shorter there's a traverse path from the bottom of Causey Pike here that drops off the side of the hill down to that path there that's the path we're going to eventually get to but we're going to get to it from the top of Scar Crags Scar Crags Summit, 672 metres. It's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt, and a Nuttall. We're going to follow off the back of Scar Crags and find that path back down to High Moss. That's sail just ahead of us and the Wiggy Waggy path in the call between Scar Crags and Sail you'll find that path it takes a dog leg to your right and then traverses down the side of Scar Crags this is the path down here just at the crossroads that we're looking at The sun never gets into this path. It's uh, northwest facing, so it's always in the shade, even in summer. In winter, it can hold a massive amount of snow, so sometimes you've got to dig your way down. We're going to follow this path all the way to the bottom to High Moss, which is at the bottom of Outer Side, which you can just see the end of in the sun just down there. And then we're going to take a right and head down the valley that's the first water we've found since we started the walk so he really is ready for it once again he's drunk my litre of water and I'm just on coffee and fizzy pop once you get into high moss just follow the path you could bag outer side which is just there and barrow which is down there in front of outer side if you wanted to bag a couple more wainwrights but we're just going to follow down the valley today we've just passed outer side we're going to pass below Style end and barra now. Path runs all the way down Stonycroft Gill. The beck is to the right of us. If you wanted some water, if you needed to top up, because there's absolutely nothing on the tops of these hills. And it's a really warm day today. I'd say it's probably 25 30 degrees again our lonely little tree 
on the top of Rolling End is just up there on the skyline again so we're not too far away from where we started and we've got Causey Pike to our right now I've just found a little path here that drops off the main path down to the beck so I'm going to take Billy down for a little swim <clears throat> In fact, I might just let him get down there himself. <laughs> Almost at the bottom of Stonycroft Gill now. I'm going to wrap my video up and say thank you for watching. If you like my content, please think about giving me a subscribe. The walk was about five mile. Um, it's been a bit of a emotional walk, especially the earlier parts around Rolling End, where I was looking down over. Newlands Valley and the area of the Lake District that my um, stepdad grew up in. Sadly my stepdad passed away 10 days ago so I would just like to dedicate this video to him and say goodbye dad. Searching for